Oh my god, look at my camera. My camera is trash. Sorry about that. Um can you tell can you tell I'm tired? I just woke up. If you were wondering what happened to me, I just woke up. Let me clean off my I'm gonna clean off my um camera. Hi, sorry about that. I look clean now. Oh my gosh. It helps to clean off your camera, don't it? Hey, Purple Cloud. Y'all, sorry. I am late. What? I'm trying to get my life together. I really am. <laughs> hey, Cheryl Malone. Hey, Debbie Kid. Can you tell? I, I just woke up. Hey, Miss Beckham. I just woke up. No lipstick. No nothing. nothing. I at least try to put on lipstick for y'all so I can look decent. No lipstick. Montreal, Canada. Well, hey, Nancy. How are you? Carol Coleman. I'm tired. <laughs> Ooh, showing my, my chin. Hi, everybody. Um, I don't know if y'all remember last year. My son was performing at the Indian Festival. And I bought some stuff. And then I, I even wore the little thingy um, for one of my lives. Um, well, they did that again today. Um, so I went to his performance today at the Indian Festival. Um, if I knew how to show you guys a clip, I'd show you a clip. But I don't know that I can do that on, on the phone. But, um, I can post it in the Google Plus group. Because they did an excellent job. And it was hot as blue blazes out there and what's funny is it wasn't just like it was hot it was just super 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 humid so um okay fireberry that's awesome welcome i appreciate you being here you can go ahead and ask your question um so i'm we're standing in the sun downtown in the middle of the street in charlotte and they had a stage set up in it um, and it was like, so the sun did a number on me. I came home because they performed at four. No, they were supposed to perform at four. They ended up performing at, um, something like 4.30. Um, and I came home and crashed. I mean, like, probably mouth open, snoring the whole nine. I don't know because I was out. So... Um, I just literally 9.05 jumped up out of my sleep and was like, oh my God, I didn't do live. And my husband was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I wish I had remembered. I would have reminded you and woke you up. And I'm like, ah. Oh. So that's why I'm late. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So I'll be just super quick. Not super quick, but I'll be brief. Um, so that I don't keep you guys past 9.30, but I was exhausted. Oh. It's just crazy. Hi, Twyla. How are you? Glad to finally catch you. Love your videos. Learn so much. I have an SE400. I do, too. That's one of my favorite little babies is the SE400. Hello from Northwest Arkansas. Hey, Karen Caldwell. Welcome, Sherry from Arkansas. How are you? I was just talking about your heat. <laughs> well, not your heat, but we had heat today. That was pretty bad heat. And I know Arkansas gets some heat. Hi, matey. How are you? Good evening to you, too. Man, you guys like the evening time. This is funny. So, 8 o'clock is good for a lot of people. And here it is, 9 p.m. I wasn't trying to come on this late. I promise I wasn't. But I was um, I was out. I didn't even know I existed at 8 o'clock. I really didn't. I was crashed. Yeah, the heat it drained is an understatement. So that's crazy. Hi, Maureen from Nashville. How are you? I appreciate you being here. We like Nashville. Nashville has some cool stuff out that way. Um, I was telling my husband I needed to go out that way and visit my Designs by Little B friend and go see how folks is doing. Carol Coleman, we love hearing from you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Y'all, and, and I know it's like scatterbrained sometimes, but been so busy fairy berry in that what oh that's not what i is that not right fari it is fari i see the two eyes i apologize um when i do embroidery on my brother se 625 new baby yes it is 
we need the bell. Don't make me go out to, to, to the trap house and get the bell. Anyway, it messes up if I use the recommended tension. Does thread brand cause a difference? Also, yes, thread brand is a huge difference because not all threads are not all threads silk through the machine equally for lack of better terminology um also um because certain spools like the brother is the spool lays down so that when you put the thread on the thread lays down so it spools off the top um well, actually, that's most of them um, on the Brother Machine. So, there are some spools that don't cooperate. You can't fit it to lay down the larger spool. So, you would put it on a thread stand. So, that makes the tension a little bit different. Um, also, the type thread. There's 60 weight. There's 40 weight. There's even as low as, as high, rather, but thin as 75 weight. So, you have to adjust the tension for your thread you have to adjust the tension for your needles because the 7511 is what I normally use sharp um, but when you switch to maybe the 90 which you shouldn't really have to go that big in a needle but like a metallic needle you would want to adjust the tension if you can slow the machine down I don't know if the newer machine will let you do that or not so yes um, tension is a funny 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 little thing um, just because the machine recommends attention doesn't mean a specific tension level, rather, doesn't mean that that's the one you should use. Case in point, um, one of my machines was acting up with the tension. I mean, and the tension was terrible. I would have to turn it all the way down to almost like two, uh, in order for it to stitch properly. And I just could not understand that. That thing bothered me for quite, you know, it was like irritating so I had stopped using it until it was time for uh, repair because I try to get the service machine service every six months um, and I called the repair guy and the repair guy came and after he did his adjustments and oiling and all of that stuff the tension was right back up where it was supposed to be closer to like four or five so um, there's a whole lot of different things that can go into why your tension may seem to be too high or too low as long as it's stitching correctly you should be all right okay listen to the machine the machine knows where it wants to be uh, but if you're super concerned about that you definitely can get a um repair technician to come and take a look at it maybe it needs oil or adjusting of some sort debbie uh wait a minute nope nope sorry let me go back so crafty from buffalo new york hi how are you? Thank you for being here this evening. Sammy Strunge, that he to kick your butt. Glad you made it. My butt was whooped. I was soaking. That's why my hair looks a hot fool mess. My whole head was wet from sweating. And I avoid heat at all costs. I really do. Um, I was discussing that with somebody the other day. I'm not a beach person. I'm a mountains person because I love cooler weather. And I can't do the direct sun, but yeah, um, it knocked me out with TKO today, Sammy. It's only, it's literally TKO, <laughs> TKO around here. Debbie, hello you. How are you today? And she says hi to everyone else. Eartha Lewis, hey Eartha. Missed you last Sunday. It was my daughter's birthday, so we spent the time together. And that's fine, my dear, because our us daughters come first. <laughs> Don't tell my mama that. <laughs> We come first, so yes, definitely I understand, and I missed you as well. I'm glad to have you here tonight, albeit late. Uh, Fari says, also, I bought a pattern which embroidered beautifully, and then there are extra crazy stitches that stitch over the finished product. Did I get it taken by the pattern seller? No. <clears throat> what I, um, okay, there are some designers who will use auto stitch sometimes or one of the things I I use will come hatch myself personally to digitize um, all of my designs and one of the things that will come hatch has built into it um, when you digitize a pattern sometimes there's an option where you it will 
design your pattern and the very last stitch goes back to the middle of the pattern and stitches a couple of stitches and that's it i'm like why 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 would why would you have that auto set in will come hatch that doesn't make sense to me i thought that was just the dumbest thing so i i have to make a conscious effort to go back in after digitizing something and take that stitch out so maybe the person didn't put those stitches in that way or maybe they did put them in that way for whatever reason i don't know why they would do that um so what i learned to do is when there are certain patterns do you have sew it pro okay if you have sew it pro you can delete those stitches and resave the pattern and then that way when you stitch it out again you don't have to worry about that anymore if you don't have sew it pro that's okay you can also just try to remember to watch your machine as it finishes up the pattern and when you see that it's done the very last stitches on wherever it is it's supposed to stop and like it's gonna go ahead to the other stitches stop the machine that's all you pretty much have to do is just stop it um and then of course cut the thread like it's supposed to with the machine the cutting button let it cut its own thread and then pull the project off of the hoop and you're done um i've had to do that several times it's just a frustrating little extra tick that some designers i don't know why they don't take the time to get rid of that um but so what pro you can go in and literally delete those stitches and not have to worry about them anymore so that's not your that wasn't your fault sir or ma'am sorry i didn't know i was thinking like that uh fairyberry is the right pronunciation sorry for the confusion i have to turn mine to 1.5 Woo, that is low actually um but make sure now how long have you been embroidering is this is, is this a new machine for you completely no prior embroidery experience or anything um let me know that before i make my next statement Sherry Harlan, you have a singer for tour quartet, and I get loopies every time I embroider. I set my attention just a little above the E. Any ideas? Now, I'm not familiar with the singer for tour quartet. We're looking to fix that problem here shortly. Um, but I don't understand the tension, like you're saying, E on the brother machine is like one through six or seven or something to that effect. I can't think of what it is at the moment. But we adjust our attention by numbers. So if you have to set it on E for embroidery, which is what I'm thinking, then you may want to um, clean out your machine. Number one, take take the time. I know folks is going to jump down my throat. But in an emergency situation, when you're having issues on your machine, you may use a little bit of an air um not with the uh can of air an electronics can of air is made where you should be able to safely blast electronics without any moisture um so check and make sure there's no moisture in that can if you don't have that if you have an air compressor with a dryer attached to it i have a dryer uh for mine for when the mechanic comes he uses it um or Take the time, get a, a light brush. Most of the machines come with a little brushy brush. Take your bobbin out, um, open up the little area where the bobbin goes and brush it out under the thread plate and around the bobbin and make sure there's no threads there because sometimes straight threads will help it loop. Um, and you said, now, did you say the looping was on the bottom or on the top? Okay, it just says loopies. So, are the loops on the top or are the loops on the bottom of your embroidery? If they're on the top, usually, usually, your problem is tension underneath. So, the bobbin area, something is acting funky down there. If your loopies are on the bottom, then usually your problem is up top. Somewhere, um, either the thread is getting caught or um, usually if it's not threaded correctly, the machine won't stitch at all. Um, but if they're just light little loops or whatever, um, you can do the tension test. If I'm not mistaken, I isolated that video on 
YouTube and you are able to find, I have a video on just the tension test and you can give that a shot and see what the problem is or where your machine may need to have its tension set. So um, try those things, try a new needle whenever. Okay. And I may have to start every live pretty much saying that some of the same stuff, but when you start to have issues with your machine, for whatever reason, I don't care whether it's um, bird's nest, whether it's um, skipping stitches or not stitching correctly or the thread won't pick up or loops, anything, a weird noise, anything, change your needle first. Change your needle first. That's the easiest, simplest solution. And that very well could be the problem is your needle. So change your needle first and foremost. Second, clean out your machine. All right. Um, especially the area where the bobbin is clean that out um, clean your bobbin there's a way to clean your bobbin I don't know that I've done a video on that but you can clean your bobbin because sometimes little stray teeny threads will get caught inside the bobbin case itself not the bobbin sorry the bobbin case if you have one of those types of machines um, like I do on the multi needle the multi needle has a bobbin case um, so let's change your needle Clean out your machine, oil your machine. Okay, so once you do those three things and you're still having issues, then we want to go into more detailed things dealing with your tension and setting your tension, messing with those settings and stuff like that because you also don't want to set your tension based off of a machine that's not running in top condition like I was. You remember I told you it wasn't, it was acting up and I just kept adjusting the tension to compensate for it. Whereas when he came out, he cleaned the machine, he oiled the machine. Um, he checked my bobbin racetrack area and all of that jazz and made sure everything was running like it was supposed to be and the tension was off. So we could drop the tension back down where it should have been. So those three things, needle cleaning and oil, first and foremost, once you do that, then go back and, um, you know, work on your attention. Okay. I hope that all made sense to you. Um, but with the single Futura, I'm not, I don't know. I've never used that machine is what I'm trying to say. Um, but again, we're trying to fix that problem so that we'll be a little bit more knowledgeable about the different machines. Sterling's style. I love the name. Hi, I just discovered your channel about a couple of weeks ago. I love it. So happy I finally caught your live feed. You're from Spartanburg. Spartanburg, where? Sterling style. I need to know that. ASAP. <laughs> Big up says, hey, Debbie. Debbie Kid. Anyone else having buffering issues? I hope not. Um, It's on my phone and I'm in the house. As you can tell, I'm not in the studio because I was knocked all the way out at eight o'clock. I was so asleep. It's crazy. Um, but now I'm up. And I was going to go to the studio and go ahead and film over there because I fixed, I'm pretty sure I fixed my microphone issue from last week. Um, but I didn't want to get over there and the microphone not be fixed. And then I'll be frustrated at 9.07 p.m. <laughs> so I just said, let me stay in the house and use my phone. It'll be all right. Um, Vel Valida hair i'm finally able to join you well thank you so coming on a little bit late although unintentional is helping some new folks that have been wanting to join live so i'm glad you're here um fairberry i don't have it but plan to buy at your recommendation thank you so much okay so again just because you don't have solar pro that's cool you just have to do the work that solar pro would do and pay attention to your design as it's stitching and stop it at that straight stitch now hopefully you've seen the video where you can advance stitches and back up stitches and things like that. So um, even if it's stitching something stupid and then it still has some more stuff it has to stitch, you can skip that stuff with the machine as well. You don't have to have, you don't have to have Sew It Pro. It's very helpful and affordable for it to be so helpful, but you don't have to have it, okay? Um... Fairyberry is completely brand new, no prior experience. Okay, so being that there's no prior experience, we're going to go back to what I was explaining a moment ago with the um, tension and the embroidery. You can do the tension test, but 
um, which I have the video on that, but there's other little things that you want to keep in mind with that particular machine. Now, that machine, the video that I have on um, machine maintenance should coincide with it because the machine, the computer part of it, you know, with the designs and how you interact with the machine and stuff like that probably is upgraded. But the machine itself... It should not be very many changes to it at all, really. It's the exact same nine times out of ten machine. Um, maybe a couple of little parts look a little bit different, but for the most part, they all work the same. So um, check that video out, the one on maintenance. And, um, you know, like I mentioned before, change your needle, get a fresh needle. But sometimes us new embroiderers, um, when you're embroidering, you might be embroidering something on a fabric that may not be hoop tight enough or something like that and cause a bird's nest. Like I had one person send me a video of a bird's nest and it looked terrible. Okay, well guess what? The bird's nest, when it's embroidering, the machine keeps on embroidering even though it's getting jammed up and it doesn't quite know it yet. That bird's nest puts pressure on the needle and it'll bend the needle. And if the needle is bent out of place too far, and or if you break a needle all right if you break a needle on your embroidery machine then there was something going on that should not have been going oh it was too stressful for the machine and it bent the needle all right so when your needle is bent it hits when it comes down and it breaks it that's because <clears throat> it's hitting something it shouldn't be hitting so what i have found with my pe 500 no pe 600 um, the needle had come down and struck the bobbin case in my brother SE500, no, 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 PE500. It's the single needle 4x4 machine, and it's strictly embroidery. So the needle came straight down, hit that black part to my bobbin case, and I had no clue, you know, till the service guy came. He took the machine completely apart, and he pulled that black bobbin case out, which normally we wouldn't touch that, right? And he showed it to me and said, look, here's the hole. And on the back, if you feel where the needle punctured all the way through, you could feel the ridge, the ridge of the little teeny hole pin, right? And that was catching the thread, you guys. Something so minor, you would think. But the machine needs all of that to be working the way it's supposed to work in order to embroider like it's supposed to. So because that bobbin case was catching, it was causing all kind of havoc with my embroidery. So there's any number of things that could be causing problems with the machine. That's why I'm saying you want to make sure that you pay attention to maintenance and pay attention to oiling and keeping it clean. And if you break a needle, be advised, you know, you may have some issues with embroidery after that. Hopefully not. But if you start having issues after breaking a needle, then... You may have to have it serviced because of that one piece. Or if you have the 4x4 machine, what my uh, service guide told me to do is buy extra of those little pieces from off of like sewing machine parts repair.com or whatever the website is. Um, and I started keeping them on hand. And if I ever had an issue, I just pop a new one in when I it's time to oil the machine or when I was having issues and go to clean the machine out. Oil the machine, pop the new black one in. And it was stitched like a brand new machine. So um, that's why I tell people it's really difficult. I appreciate you asking. You know, they'll send me a video or whatever. And they're like, hey, what's wrong with my machine? And I'm like, I, I can't. I don't know. <laughs> it's always a process of elimination. That's how just like a, a physician, you know, you come in with ailments. Okay, then they'll go to their little trusty book and they'll start looking at your symptoms and try and figure out what's wrong. Well, it's the same principle with the embroidery machine. We start from the simplest, changing your needle. If that doesn't fix it, then we go to, um, what did I say, cleaning the machine. If we clean the machine and that doesn't work, we move to the next step, the next step, the next step. So that's how that works. So don't feel... Don't be too frustrated if, you know, you're in the chat groups or whatever and you're asking people, hey, what's wrong? How do I set my attention, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, try this, try that, try that. And you get so many answers. Well, that's because you have to eliminate step one, step two, step three to get to the root of the problem. And it's better to start with the cheapest and the simplest, which is changing your needle. Um, 
So that's where we are with that. Mary Brooks says, hi, you're down here in Fayetteville with my daughter. Well, welcome to North Carolina, ma'am. Sorry about this unconventional heat and humidity <laughs> that was trying to kill me today. Um, but welcome. North Carolina is amazing. All the trees and lush vegetation. And Fayetteville is gorgeous, actually. We have a good friend that lives not far in a different town called Rayford. So we like um, Fayetteville. Um, Fairy Berry, I am, ma'am. Laughing out loud. You're Farrah. Oh, well, hi, Farrah. Thank you for letting me know that. <laughs> and if anybody, you know, I'm... I'm bad about remembering names, but I'll definitely try. So if you send me a shout out or whatever, and you're like, this is your YouTube username, but this is your name and you prefer that, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that, but don't be too mad if I forget. <laughs> Cause I have little triggers that I use to try and help me remember. And sometimes them triggers fail me, man. I'm trying to tell you. Valerie Hill says, hi all. And Sherry, you have the Futura as well. And you find it best when you have a thread stand and space it behind your machine. Don't know why, but it causes the tension to work better. Look at that. That's what I appreciate your uh, you guys coming in and being a part of the chat. Join the Google Plus group if you haven't already. Um, there will be a link at the bottom of this video uh, after it's done and it's uploaded. I'll make sure to put the link to the Google Plus group because if you have questions... You're feel just feel free to ask them in the Google Plus group, and there's a whole wealth of folk um, in there that will be more than happy to help me out and answer your question if I'm not able to get to you right away. I know Ms. Bickham is amazing for that. She's a wealth of resource, uh, wealth of information resource, so you can um, just definitely ask questions. Fairberry says, watch your attention video, and you did do the test. Okay, sweet. So if you're still having issues, we may have to have it looked at. That's unfortunate, though. Hey, Will. Will is in here, you guys. Say hi to Mr. Will. Um, now, being that you popped in, I'm going to go ahead and mention it really quick. I don't know if the ones who are in here saw the live from last week about the CarolinaThreadBox.com. CarolinaThreadBox.com is a subscription service that Will was kind enough to contact me about and say, Hey, I have this idea. I would like for you to um, do a video on it. So I'm really excited about doing that. And what we're considering is doing the unveiling of the Threadbox Live, um, as well as doing a live stitch along, so to speak. So if you are um, looking to sign up for the Carolina Threadbox, which I hope you do, um, it's a subscription service, so each month you will get a new box with a new project in it. You'll get four spools of thread. There's different levels to it. There's a level with the huge king industrial size spools. And then there's a level with the little smaller sulky spools uh, for those that need a more affordable subscription option. And then, of course, there's two more levels in between with con consecutive to consecutively larger spools of thread sulky thread at that and they're at um you know discount prices for the thread so the whole box you're getting an excellent deal on thread because you guys if you go in joanne's to buy thread that sulky thread is high in joanne's fabrics um so you're getting a really good deal on that so i'm excited and i'm looking forward to stitching along with some of those projects with you guys um, and hoping that we have a good time together with the, the pretty threads. I've already got a sneak peek of the thread colors. I don't know what the project is. I don't know that part, but I did see the threads. And so I'm really excited about it. Hayden's life. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, but it'll be all right. Debbie kid, kid, check your thread path again. That's definitely, definitely. I did omit that because when you check your, uh, bobbin area uh, down below and clean that out your thread path can be getting bogged down that's why I mentioned if you don't have it threaded correctly then usually the machine will stop or it won't stitch you know because it knows something is wrong but um, but your thread path is imperative to check that as well because it your thread if it's uh, bog down. Somebody said use dental floss. You know, run a spool, uh, a string of dental floss through the thread path to help clean it up and lubricate it with the wax a little bit or something like that. I've heard that that helps. I haven't done that 
yet. Um, but it may be some thread stuck in between your tension discs and stuff like that. So yeah, um, your thread path is important to check that as well. And Fairberry, you said you decided you wanted to embroider and you researched first. I found you watched all your videos before I ever bought my machine. Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you for doing that. One thing's for certain, it does help to know what in the world you got going on before you start with the machine. So I'm glad you were able to find some help with that. And again, if you, you ask questions, feel free to do that anytime, ma'am. I don't ever have an issue for the most part answering questions and I'll get with you as soon as like you can send an email and I'll reply as soon as I can. I'll put it that way. So uh, we'll get it together. And Sterling Style says, you're in South Cacolac. Oh, that's what's up. Yep, see, Will. <laughs> we have several folks in here from South Carolina. We love South Carolina through here, even though I'm in North Carolina, but I'm right at the border. Charlotte is right at the border of South Carolina. So we might as well be, which is why we're the Carolina Panthers. Hi which I don't even know why I said that. I, I'm not a team person. <laughs> um, Fairberry says, yes, I'm so thankful for the video. So I really appreciate you letting me know that because it, it does uh, warm my heart to know that the videos are helpful and we are getting our video uh, schedule together. Getting, I'm knocking out orders um, so that I can focus more on videos instead of a business making money on embroidery. So I'm looking forward to getting all of that squared away. Terry, how often do you change your needle on your multi-needle machine? I gave a brother, you have a brother 10 needle. Do you change it all at the same time? I don't change it all at the same time. I'm bad about that. But um, if I start having embroidery issues, any, I don't care, minor major one of the first things i check my thread path because on that brother multi-needle machine the thread path is a fool any one of those little clips anyone if some anything is off with that multi-needle usually it's the thread path something's bogged down with the thread or there's uh, a lot of extra straight threads and junk in the bobbin area but if those two things are fine needle is the next thing to go i'll change that needle in a hot minute too um but i should be changing it every month because i don't embroider quite as much anymore but i haven't been doing much lately so i haven't changed it lately but yes you should be changing out your needle um on a fairly regular basis with that multi-needle machine mighty says good night have to have to get up 4 a.m Ooh. My goodness. Good night. I understand. <laughs> Debbie says you have a question. How many times do you call a customer to pick up their order? I have one that I left two messages for her. Don't know if I should call again or not. Um, how many um, options of contacting her do you have? Um, is it only calling? Um, maybe if she texts, send a text message if she doesn't text. Um, uh, but I wouldn't text unless you made a verbal agreement that she could, that you could do that for her. Um, even though texting now is free, I don't even know why people still chirp about that, but texting usually is free. Um, email, send an email, maybe, you know, for whatever reason, she's not getting her voicemail messages. Um, but for the most part, what I would do, what I've done Rather is I just have a little space in my studio where my completed orders go and I just set it there, you know, and wait on hearing from the person because obviously there's something going on. Now, if they've paid for it, did they pay for the order yet, uh, Miss Debbie? Because if they haven't paid for it and they may just not have the money to get it um, and that could be the delay in them contacting you back. But if they paid for it, then something's going on. It's not allowing them to get back to their order. So I just set it off to the side. And, you know, how often do you have orders piling up at your house and people not picking them up to where you're like 60 days, come pick this up or else? You know, we don't have to do that for the most part of smaller folks that don't have a business. Um, but, yeah, just set it to the side. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, Debbie Kid asked the same thing. <laughs> Did they pay for it yet? Laura Dent, be careful while using your machines. I had to have surgery last week to remove part of a needle from my finger. Laura, you just gross me out. Um, my own, not stupid, just not quite as cautious mistake. 
So don't try to take shortcuts using your fingers. No. Mm -mm. Um, I'm bad about that. So trust and believe. I'm I'm telling you how does the parent say do as I say do not as I do. I am bad about that. But I have yet to get bit to where I need surgery. I've been bit before by the machine but not to where I need surgery. So yes, you definitely want to keep appendages away from the needle area of that machine while it's stitching as tempting as it is to move stuff out of the way um chopsticks from what i've heard is a good alternative um to putting your fingers in the way or just hit the pause button just hit the pause button all the machines have it that i know of I, well i know the brother does so just hit the pause button fix whatever the error is and then start that sucker back up i know you want to keep it going but you know, just hit the pause button. So she's absolutely correct. Please be careful. <laughs> um, and be careful with the air too. You know, don't use the air all the time for those who are, you know, sensitive about that and want to be sure that they don't blow strings and stuff back up in their machine. I mean, if you're just sitting there and you're just haphazardly just blowing air, then of course it's going to cause a problem in your equipment. But um, my... Uh, repair person taught me the responsible way to use the air um, and I don't use it, it all the time when I'm cleaning out my machine so um, keep that in mind as well. Fairberry, I will change the needle and then call the service guy if needed. You're the best. Thanks Eve. You're welcome and thank you. I appreciate that. Not quite the best but <laughs> I just try and share what I know and what has helped me. You know, that's the only thing I can do is preach from experience and let you guys know what I've been through, which is why we're looking to experience the other machines so that we'll have the ability to say, oh yeah, that machine does do A, B, C, X, Y, Z. So looking forward to getting to know that. Debbie, Chris, oh, so they haven't paid. If they haven't paid, then that's what it is. They just don't have the money right now or things got tight. So just set it off to the side. They'll get the money together eventually, hopefully. And if not, you know, it'll be a lesson, you know, to chalk it up to. That's why I tried to, I was, I was trying to get the deposit. My husband was like, they need to pay in full. Because any store that you go into, any, any other store, I don't care what it is, any other store, and you get a custom order, you're going to pay for it first. I don't care what store it is. Go to Dairy Queen, you get a cone all gussied up with all the trimmings and the fat and the and the nuts and the syrups, you're going to pay for that first. You're not going to pay for it after they've already went through the trouble to fix it. And then they tell you how much it is. And you're like, oh, shoot, I'm short. And they done wasted that ice cream. <laughs> you know, um, Converse. I know they allow you to custom your Chuck Taylors on their website. You're going to pay for it first. They're not going to order it for you and then tell you to pay afterwards. Um, very, very, very rare is an option where you can go somewhere and get something custom and not pay for it up front. So what makes us any different? So get your payment up front and let them know this is a custom order. If something happens and you can't come pick it up, then I don't have a way to sell it to somebody else in most instances. Um, but you can let them know that. And usually most folks are like, okay, I'll go ahead and pay. You know, because it only makes sense. It's a custom item. Um, but then you also can let them know, you know, and that ensures it'll be ready for you when you come to pick it up. <laughs> and they can just come pick it up whenever because it's already paid for. So, yeah, that's uh, that was a sore spot with um, me and my business manager, sir, <laughs> back there in the room. He did not like that. I had to get the money up front. He was not playing it. So, and I'm glad he taught me that because it saved me a whole lot of aggravation because there was a couple of times I was like, okay, well, this is how much it's going to be. I need to get paid. And they was like, oh, okay, well, I'll be back. Okay, well, two, three weeks later, that's when you want to come with the money to get it done because we didn't have the money at first. So, yeah, you definitely have to um, keep in mind that... Hey, Sonny Boy. Keep in mind that... Um, you want to get the money up front. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm live. <laughs> Miss Beckham says, on some software, it will... I was telling people you was dancing that they had me in the heat. And I went to sleep on them. <laughs> You'd be mad if I put up a video to dance and let people see it later. Okay. 
Um, Miss Beckham says on some software it will put center origin at the designs end, but won't on the others. Yeah, I make a habit to delete them, run through the stitch order to see and delete them if they're there. And that's what I was mentioning when she was asking about the pattern that she had bought and there's stray stitches at the end. It's because of that. I don't know why that. Um, I know Will Come Hatch does it. I don't know if any other programs do. And that thing irritates the hound out of me. But I tell you, um, it's like extra stuff I have to do for no reason. Uh, if I don't remember to turn that feature off when I start to do my digitizing. So, you know, that's uh, not a bad pattern. It's just a pattern where they didn't get rid of that extra stitch. Glam Glam says, hello, I thought I missed you guys tonight. Oh, hey, Glam Glam. No, I was late because I overslept. I was exhausted I didn't, and then I woke up at 9.05 or something like that and I was like oh no you know so um I just popped on anyway and been on for 40 minutes I didn't realize I've been on that long um Debbie Kid, I would keep calling them then I never do an order without prepayment been there done that too many times amen amen just like Laura said <laughs> made by Q hi Miss Cat Hey, this Miss Cat name change. Oh, no, you did not change your name, ma'am. <laughs> How are you? Are you at work or are you home now? Because you be, uh, you watch from the job. That be, that kills me every time. I love it. It's hilarious. I laugh to myself. But I hope everything's good, family-wise and everything. Because, um, and I'm glad you let me know who it was. Because I have been missing you. Nina Salter says, hello, everyone. You're new here from Illinois. Well, hey, Nina, how are you? Thank you for joining us this evening. My grandma's name was Nina. Well, it still is Nina, but she passed a while back. So welcome. We appreciate you being here. I will be looking for your name um, if you're able to come on. Usually I try to be on at 8 p.m., but this evening I was exhausted. And so now it's 9 tonight. Unfortunately, I apologize. Miss Social Deb is from Illinois as well, so a lot of folks in here. Um, Copenhagen. Hey, Eve. My name is Amy. Well, hey, Amy. How are you? Thank you for joining us tonight. I was trying to embroider my daughter's name on a pouch. I could not do it. Is there a special technique to do it? I have a brother SE400 machine. Okay, what kind of pouch, baby cakes? Because pouches are funny. Usually, if there's a pouch, that means there's you know, the front, the back, you know, and you can go on the inside. Well, you kind of have to, as my grandma say, used to say, hold your mouth right and lay it out to where you have nothing behind it. Um, if you can't hoop it, then you may have to float it. And if you float it, then you'll have to use the pins to pin it in place um, and float it that way. So definitely... Let me know what kind of pouch it is. Like, is it a fanny pouch or is it a book bag pouch? Or, um, you can. You don't want, I mean, you can, what? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Why not? I'm going to let Oh, yeah, I'll let you know. Sign language. It helps. <laughs> um, so let me know what kind of pouch it is. Nancy Faust. Hi, Nancy. How are you? It's hot there too. Iowa. Iowa, I bet it is hot. <laughs> um, it's hot everywhere lately. I don't know, man. I'm I'm just I'm ready for fall, but I'm not ready for fall because fall means it's about to be cold. And I don't I'm not a super fan of being freezing cold either. <laughs> Say I like spring and fall. Those are my ideal times of year because I'm I'm happier then. <laughs> Humidity's down and it's not super hot. So that's hilarious. So Yes, ma'am. Nina Salter, I appreciate you being here. So, Ms. Bickham says you wrote down the customer's order from every time you call them with the time, date, and all that transpired. After the third attempt, I leave it in their hands. Show them when they pick it up. Yeah, keep a record. That's smart. Keep a record of every time you have tried to contact them so that they'll know you weren't, you know, they'll say, wait, I didn't hear from you. These are the dates and times that I called and tried to get in touch with you. No big deal. It's here. And this is how much it is. Thank you. Appreciate your payment. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely do that. Valida, thank you for checking out the uh, CarolinaThreadbox.com. Will, I appreciate you because I completely forgot about the promo code, the baby's booty. 
We left the S off, I think, unless that's the way you got the code. Longer subscriptions are already discounted. Send an email and he'll discount your first box for those that are doing month to month. Terry, any Eve, any suggestions on where to post machine home? Feel like a machine hoarder, but getting better. Um, I just heard on another Facebook page, embroidery help and advice or something like that, and they mentioned a Facebook group that's made just for that. Where was it? But was it for embroidery machines or was it for supplies? Um, there was a website where, you, excuse me, you can trade supplies back and forth. I'm getting the hiccups. Um, where you can trade supplies back and forth and, excuse me, I think machines was in there too. I'm not 100% sure, excuse me. But if I find out, I'll post it in the, um, Google Plus group. Um, oh Lord, finesse lunchbox. Really? Really? Uh, Fairberry Dental Floss gonna try that. Yeah, the dental floss I heard is um, imperative in cleaning out that thread track going through. Again, I haven't done it yet. Nina says, I'm learning so much from your channel and so happy I found it. Thanks. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Mary Philemon, I forgot to tell you you're in York, but grew up in Charlotte. Girl, I like York now. Briefly briefly really briefly i used to live in york i lived in clover actually so um pretty familiar with york so i'll have to come down and say hey because i have a very good friend that lives in york in clover and uh it would be fun to meet you <laughs> so we'll have to schedule that up laura dent says nascar county in north carolina country nascar country in north carolina you ain't lying girl we got tons of that nascar everything we got the hall of fame i think it's what it is and then of course um carolina motor speedway they have races all the time um but i love it so i don't have any issues whatsoever uh we like racing around here i know i tend to have a lead foot myself so we're gonna leave that right there Ethel says you just ordered and it wouldn't take the promo code. That's why I said, uh, Mr. Ethel tried again with the S B A B Y S B O O T Y. Um, you got to get up at 4 a.m. coming off a of staycation. Okay, Miss Cat, you be careful. I'm glad you were here. You talk, Grandma 99. You made it. Welcome. <laughs> we appreciate you being here. I'm late. I apologize. Denise will catch the replay. Good night. You gotta go get a kid at work and wouldn't have a wonderful week i do too now that i think about it but i'm okay i, I had a nap so i'm gonna be good um debbie you're welcome uh, debbie de Cristoforo, you're welcome debbie kid i have two orders that were paid for and they haven't picked it up yet in november it'll be a year good grace is a life <laughs> i haven't did i have have i had that i don't think i've had them leave it here that long but um, I try and keep in touch with folks. Um, don't change all the needles at the same time if you aren't using each one, right? J jot it down on your calendar when you change them. Note the needle numbers that you've changed. Um, and that is a very good point to jot that down. I know I'm not going to keep up with that. That's just how discombobulated I could be in my studio. Uh, but yes, it is helpful to know what needles you've changed and that also will help you know what thread path may be giving you trouble and you may want to run some floss through that one um if it's constantly breaking needles um terry philemon says had a needle in my finger a year from your long arm too stubborn to get it cut out it finally came out i'm grossed out okay we're gonna scroll past that <laughs> Um, Nina Salter, you use goggles, never miss. Lessons learned when I'm by the machine. Mm, near miss. Wow. I don't even want to know. Well, I wear glasses from time to time too, so but yeah, the you gotta protect your eyes. Laura Dent says never thought about chopsticks. Yes, chopsticks are cool. Oh my gosh, somebody did a um Hey, uh, we'll get to it here in a second. <laughs> Never thought about chopsticks. I was doing an applique and laid the fabric without using adhesive spray, healed the fabric. Not real smart on my part. Live and learn. 
I'm trying to tell you, you've got to pay attention and keep your hands out of the way. The needle stuck in my bone. I had to pull it out by myself. Not fun. Utah grandma, no. I don't know that I would be able to do that. I would probably uh, pass out. I'm not going to lie to you. But then again, I don't know. I might get a rush of adrenaline in all of those years of watching House and um, the other medical drama shows. I might be. <laughs> I might be all right. Dar Smith. Well, hey, Dar. Greetings and salutations, Miss Darlene. I'm doing better embroidery because of you. See you soon on Google Plus. Love you and thank you for your help. You're welcome, Dar Smith. Thank you. And I appreciate whomever did the super chat for $10. Unfortunately, at this point, I can't see and can't tell. Soccer Dad, I'm going to say hello. Not sure your um, purpose if you're wanting to be uh, a troll or not. Will, I always get upfront payment. I had an order for 15 patches custom and they turned around and canceled. Never again. OMG. Boy, I would have been hot as fire. Uh, Laura Dent Needle was in your first joint and couldn't move it, so had to have the surgery. Oh, okay. Y'all hurt my heart. I'm just trying to tell you. Um, Zinthia. Hi, Zinthia. Welcome. Haven't seen you here, so welcome to our channel. I just started back using your embroidery machine thanks to you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Please feel free to share your projects and the things you've been working on. If you have any questions, you can drop them either in the comments below or in the Google Plus group. Definitely join us there if you would like to. We would love to have you there sharing your projects with us. Red Rosa says, thank you. You're an excellent teacher. I appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. I love to um, teach. I love to learn as well. So I try to teach the way I like to learn, which is with patience and, you know, being I teach because I want to be sure that I miss any steps and that, you know, everyone has an equal opportunity to learn whatever it is that we're trying to, to teach. So um, thank you. I definitely appreciate that. Miss D Purple One, you're late. Oh, well, welcome. I'm late too, so don't feel bad. I'm not you <laughs> not usually logging on at nine o'clock. Um, but I was knocked out, so I couldn't. Nina Salter says you was waiting. I understand. Dar Smith says I learned how to walk through the stitches all on the keyboard. I do this to make key fobs to adjust the bean stitch I put around it. Yeah, and that's why um that's why it's important to know how to read that, read that manual with your machine. I'm trying to tell y'all, people, coffee, if you do coffee or tea, with whatever your fancy is, and take the time to read the manual through. Highlight points and you're like, wait a minute, I didn't know the machine could do that. Highlight that. Put a little sticky tab at the top as well so that you can refer back to it. That manual will tell you how to use that machine and it's actually very helpful so please read your manuals maria says hi eve hello maria how are you devin cottrell it has been a while welcome back thank you for joining us tonight miss purple one you'll have to watch the replay yeah it's getting late um made by a uh, cat not at work but was waiting for your shout out i will catch up <laughs> i'll catch up later family situation is still going on oh man but thanks for prayer god is good good night yes he is copenhagen said a school pouch okay so you have to open it up, open your zipper as wide as you possibly can on that pouch and try and lay it as flat as you can. Again, um, those are tricky on the 4x4 machine. I'm trying to think, did I do, uh, I did a video, I'm pretty sure, on some kind of pouch on that 4x4 um, book bag or something to show you have to get it open and you have to lay it flat and you have to babysit it. And that's where a lot of people get the needles stuck in their hands because they're holding it open and holding their hands down where the embroidery should go. And it's just unsafe. So um, with the 4x4, some pouches can be done. Some pouches can't. If you can't open it up to the point where you can get a nice, smooth, flat surface, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. You'll bend the needle. You'll get the machine jammed up. It's just a royal pain all the way around. So don't do it. Okay. Um, but maybe get a bigger pouch or a pouch that, you know, you can unzip all the way open, but otherwise like a simple pencil pouch is not going to be easy at all 
to embroider on that embroidery machine. As a matter of fact, me sitting here thinking about it, um, about the only thing you can do would be to turn it inside out. Um, and even turning it inside out is going to be difficult. You can kind of do it, but it's going to be some acrobatics, some double jointed type situations, holding your mouth right, stretching it. Yeah, it's drama. It can be done, but it's drama. Yeah. Unfortunately. Uh, you talk, Grandma, sometimes when I float your project, you use the tiny clothespin type clamps from the hardware store. I'm not ready for fall yet either. <laughs> I'm ready for fall. Um, those clamps, there's tons of clamps. I have, you know what? That's what's missing on my Amazon uh, storefront. There are some really cool clamps that I use frequently. Um, and they're on Amazon. I'll have to link that because that's where I got mine from. They're pretty inexpensive and fun to use. Um, also binder clips. I've used those to hold things open. So there's a lot of, um, options for you. Miss Social Deb, you use wooden food skewers when guiding your fabric and need that support. A bundle will last a lifetime. Find them anywhere. Save your fingers from getting nipped. That is absolutely correct. Um... Miss Parker says, hi, Eve. Hi, Miss Parker. Just to share with the group, I've been using the Embrilliance program, and it is user-friendly. There's also a free demo to download. Enjoy your meeting family on last night. Thank you, Miss Parker. Um, yes, Embrilliance does most of the embroidery um, ed editing software programs have a free uh, trial that you can use. So, yes, that is there. I did not have fun using Embrilliance myself. Uh, but for those who may not take a fancy to so a Pro, you can try and Brilliance. It's a little more, a lot more expensive than um, so a Pro, but it's it's there and it can be used. Um, Nina Salter, you have family in Shelby. How to meet you in North Carolina someday? Nina, you let me know whenever you are in the area and we'll meet up. Send me an email thebabiesbooty at gmail.com t-h-e-b-a-b-y-s-b-o-o-t-y dot com at gmail sorry dot com and you know we'll catch up just let me know about when you'll be in the area um and i'll let you know for the most part if i'm available like i know we'll be going out of town in november um so if it's any time around the first of november then i'll definitely not be available but you know so we we can catch up that way and figure out a good time to meet up. I love meeting up with folks because it's it's just cool um, to get to know fellow embroiderers. And you never know when you may need to pass a project off to somebody else. So <laughs> definitely would love to meet you. Afro-Colombian. Hey, my love. You finally caught me live. Thank you. Probably because I'm late tonight. I'm not normally this late. So I'm glad you're here. Miss Beckham, you're the one that did a $10 Super chat, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, and your comment was take a deposit of at least half of your total order. It usually covers your cost. And make sure they know that if they don't pay the balance, they do not get the item back, even if it was brought in. You know what? I'm glad you said that because that's really important. If they bring something and they're not paying they're going to expect the item back that they brought in. And I didn't really think about that at the time. But yes, that's, again, another reason why it's super important to get your money up front, people. It really is. It will save you so much in aggravation and stress and frustration because there's nothing worse than to, get, than to do all that hard work, get done with the project, the project is flawless, and they don't have the money. And if they bring the items like towels that need to be monogrammed and they bring the towels, well, they're going to be looking at you crazy because they bought the towels, but they got the embroidery on it. Uh, yeah, no, sorry. You're not getting anything until I get paid for the work I've done for it. So it can cause a problem. So Ms. Beckham, again, for her, she has been an embroidery on her own embroidery store front um, near a resort area and definitely knows her thing when it comes to... Um, you know, getting paid for orders, how to process orders, what to do with them, how to run an embroidery shop. I've learned a lot. So definitely she, her words of wisdom are invaluable in here. <laughs> Dar Smith say super chat. Yeah, super chat is awesome. Thank you. Y'all have no idea. That's, that's awesome. And definitely um, 
can be used. <laughs> Carol Coleman says, when you use Soa Pro, can you put it on more than one computer? You definitely can. Um, from what I understand, it can be placed uh, on two computers at a time. Um, if you need to put it on a third, like if one computer goes down and you buy a new one, just give them a shout, let them know. They'll update the registration some kind of which way. Um, but yes, you can put it on more than, you can put it on two. Renicia, hi Renicia. Welcome. Thank you for being here. I'm late and I'm getting all the cool people in here tonight. <laughs> Thank you for joining me tonight. Peyton Whittle, can I get a shout out to Char Char Plays? I guess. Uh, some of the folks. Dar Smith says, read the instructions. Oh my, after four years, you're the best blessings. Thank you for caring to help. Some people don't read the manual. They just don't. I don't understand. Miss Bickham says, if they want their item back, they have to pay a removal fee. Wow. Okay, now that's deep. That's getting into something I didn't know about. So we're going to have to discuss that so that we'll talk about that on another live and explain that in detail unless you want to explain it now but it's been an hour so i'm trying to get us wrapped up suzanne says maybe do a patch and sew it on the pouch yes but again she's going to miss suzanne she's going to run into the problem of it being a pouch and if she can't get the sewing machine down to towards the bottom of the pouch well, I guess she can fit it up in the arm of the machine, so she probably can sew it on a little bit better. So, yes, that is a viable option. You're still going to have to have clear access to the back of that pouch, though. Uh, the back of the front of the pouch, rather. Vera says, hello, everyone. Hello, Vera. Thank you for being here. Devin, I just had an order for 14 shirts and got repeat business from her. Also, where do you order your short shirts and stuff for bulk orders? Um, Devin, I have... Um, Carolina made it's a local company here in Charlotte North Carolina they supply um, Gildan t-shirts um, sweatshirts uh, shorts pants all the Gildan Hanes jerseys uh, new oh gosh um, Bella and canvas a um, couple of the other TD bopper type places um, so I get my bulk orders from there because I have a wholesale account with them. Um, you get the shirts dirt cheap, like t-shirts for about two bucks, you know, white t-shirts. And then of course the color ones are a little more. Some of the name brands are more than uh, like Next Level is another brand of t-shirt that they do. And sometimes those are a little more pricey, but that's where I get my shirts, where my hats come from. Sometimes they come from Carolina Made. Sometimes they come from Buck Wholesale, B-U-C-K wholesale um and there's one more but i don't usually order from them bulk uh a hat place um uh, but those are my go-to's pretty much so carolina made carolina made and then buck wholesale for hats and those are really good to use debbie crystal for thank you for thank you will yes i appreciate that will and for checking it out in the background i appreciate that um print gear will says print gear is amazing i haven't used them yet dar smith oh my goodness dar thank you so much i really really appreciate the super chat oh my goodness that is awesome y'all y'all making my night tonight <laughs> i'm gonna have to come on at nine o'clock more often y'all are awesome <laughs> i'm just kidding thank you very much thank you very very much i really appreciate that um your comment is i've used the so what pro and all of them their others for years last year I found you you a clever dog well i owe you both eve you are a wonderful teacher thank you thank you very very much dar smith miss darling you are amazing um clever dog is my girl miss stephanie um we work together on a lot of different things in the background she lets me know what's going on in the world of soul art with her and what she's teaching and i definitely recommend her for so art um, in learning how to digitize. I've seen some of the things that she's done. I wasn't able to do it because I didn't have the patience to learn at the time. I need to get into so art some, but um, she's awesome. So thank you for uh, shouting her out as well, Miss Darlene. Miss Darlene, but um, yes, we love to teach around here, and that's what we're getting back into, y'all. I'm excited about it uh, and really looking forward to it. 
Cheryl, Malone, Cheryl Malone, you place your order with Carolina Threads. Thank you. Dar Smith says we enjoy fellowship. And I definitely enjoy fellowship with you guys. And Afro-Columbia, and I knew it was. <laughs> you know I knew who it was. I just didn't want to be like, hey, what up, girl? You know, and throw names out there without <laughs> confirming with it first. Hey, Jay, how you doing, girl? Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something. There's 32 of you in here. And I'm going to let you know something about me. This is personal. Afro-Colombian, if she's still in here, that has been my home road dog. I mean, thick and thin, good times, bad times, getting in trouble at school. <laughs> Ever since high school, that's my girl. So uh, I'm honored to have her pop in with us tonight. Afro-Colombian is Miss J. Um, and she actually has a YouTube channel as well. She's a virtual assistant and she teaches other virtual assistants. Uh, she coaches them and she's amazing. That's my buddy. <laughs> I go to her when I need to vent and she comes to me when she needs to. <laughs> um, especially about Mr. Lowry, but we're going to leave that alone. <laughs> um, Rainbow Six is 98 here. Yeah, I'm sure it's probably hot. It's hot a lot of different places. Um, <laughs> so, yes, Jay, I knew you were in here. Carol Coleman says, thank you. You're welcome. Cheryl Malone says, you're welcome. Teresa Spencer, have a good night, my dear. Thank you for being here. Terry says she can also use a fusible product to iron it on to the case. Use E6000 glue instead of sewing. That is true as well. I didn't think about that. Make sure that the case is heat proof though so that you can do that. Or like she said, the glue. Utah Grandma. Hey, love. I had a lady who wanted me to sew and embroider a Lana Bay outfit. She had no idea how much to char charge or anything about fabrics or business. She wanted me to do it all and I hope you charged. That's a lot of work. Dar Smith says, Carolina May, thank you. Do they also do caps? Yes. We ask because the husband goes up to Winston-Salem on a regular basis. We'll love when he can meet you. Buck Wholesale, thank you. You're awesome. As a matter of fact, let me show y'all. I love Carolina May. Carolina May is completely, completely, completely awesome. I use them frequently. And I've shown their catalog in here before, but I'm going to show it again. This is Carolina May. Okay. They're out of Indian Trail, North Carolina, which is right beside Charlotte. It's not far. Um, this is how thick the catalog is. Um, you will get lost in this catalog. They have shirts. They have shorts. They have Anvil. Anvil was the other brand. I knew it was somebody else. They have Anvil shirts. They have t-shirts, out the wazoo, long sleeve, leggings. They have leggings as well. This is not through. This is Bella and Canvas. I, I get some of their stuff sometimes. I think, I don't know whose shirt I got on now. More Bella and Canvas. They have Hanes, tagless and tag. So these are just the shirts. The shirts are at the front of the catalog. They also have onesies in here not very many though uh it's rabbit skins i don't really care for them. um then somebody else has onesies i want to say it's it's not anvil so i think it's bella and canvas has onesies as well and i'm trying to get to the back 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 of the back of the book so they have some stadium blankets and towels and stuff for like cheer and football and sports that can be embroidered everything in here can be customized that's the whole point of this place they have aprons this is a carolina made they ship as well okay some stuff can be picked up and when you go to place your order it'll tell you at checkout whether it can be picked up or not um book bags um string backpack things they have um more of the duffel bag type bags here they have reusable totes you know, the tote things that, oh, God, y'all, I'm i obsessed with totes. And we're going to leave that alone. More totes. Um, They have wine bags. More totes. Lunch bags. Duffel bags. I had one um, customer, he would order the duffel bags, and I would embroider those for him regularly. Lunch pouches. Um, 
more reusable bags. I'm not going to bore y'all with that. Some of the cutest bags, man. The cross uh, messenger bags. I love the messenger bags. Limited on colors, but with those anyway. But I love those bags. I've ordered those frequently. Um, hats. Camo hats. Regular hats. Um, they got several. They got value cap, which are affordable. They got um, some hood, uh, not hoodies. Oh God, visors. They have stocking caps for the winter time scarves to match. I mean, these people have some of everything. They got, you know, mesh caps. They got trucker caps. They got dad caps. They got, you know. So yeah, Carolina Made is awesome. I love Carolina Made, and you have to have an account with them though. Um, with a reseller's number on file or something. Something has to be on file. I don't know if it's tax ID or resellers or both. Um, but you have to create an account with them. Um, it can be picked up. You have to give them a couple of hours to get the order together. But after that, you go pick it up if you're in the area. If not, it can be shipped um, to you. They do ship. Um, and they also have warehouses in other places. I know there's a warehouse in Eden, North Carolina. Um, there's also another warehouse somewhere in South Carolina, um, where I, you might be able to pick up there too. So definitely <clears throat> check them out. Um, but the main headquarters are in Indian Trail, North Carolina. I was trying to see if I could look in the book and they tell us where the other, no, I don't see that. Where the other location is. Um, that they ship out of because some stuff isn't kept at this warehouse. No, I don't see it. So, uh, but yeah, Carolina Made is amazing. Um, Utah Grandma, you are so sweet to help all of us. You're awesome. Thank you. I mean, again, if it's helped me, I'm, of course, I'm going to let other folks know because I remember there was a time where I was starting out and I couldn't find out anything or I didn't have the right connection to find out anything. And that was very discouraging. It made me not want to do embroidery. Uh, but then when, you know, I started finding out stuff and I'm like, bump this. I'm going to let everybody else know too. So that's how that goes. Miss Bickham says, also look at SNS Activewear and for hats, auto cap is good as well. And Cheryl Malone reminds me to let you guys know, please don't forget to hit the like button, the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Terry says, where did you go to school? I went to West Mech. West Mecklenburg High School, if that's what you're asking. I went to West Mech. Devin says, Designs by Juju have embroidery files on sale. 25 for 25 and other deals. Get a lot of stuff from them. I have quite a bit of designs from Designs by Juju. So many, in fact, till it's like, unless she comes out with something new, I'm not going to get 25 designs. Because <laughs> I got just about everything. Angela Llewellyn, I want to order. So what pro? Is there a sale or discount code before I order? Angela, no, not at all, unfortunately. Um, one of the things that I had to, a contract I had to agree to before being a reseller of Solar Pro is that I cannot sell it for less than their price, which is $65. I've never seen a sale. There probably won't ever be one because, I mean, it's very affordable in comparison to the other programs. Um, I know last time I checked in, Brilliance was still over a couple of hundred dollars. Um, and a lot of the other embroidery editing programs are pretty pricey. So 65 really isn't a lot, but no, they're not going to do a discount code. Um, Afro Columbia, older stories we share. So proud of you and your journey. Love you, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to share them stories on here. <laughs> Dar Smith, Carolina Made. I've seen them before on your YouTube. Thank you for showing the catalog. You're welcome. Girl, I love In the house, right? in the house one in the car two in the car one in the house a couple of them out there in the studio i keep my carolina made catalog at all times on hand <laughs> i love carolina made i order from them all the time oh my gosh maddie thanks maddie i guess bickham says when you make something for customers and you're asked to buy the materials always get an extra half to yard in case you have errors you should charge for shopping all remaining materials um, so I tried that one time it worked really well. One time it didn't, but yes, if you're out doing a bunch of running around and grabbing stuff, like for me, Carolina made, 
Um, when I order from here, I try to order just about everything I need. I don't run out there for just one piece um, because it is like from Charlotte with traffic. It's a good 40 minute drive, uh, which for the most part, I don't mind because there's other things on the way to and around in the area that I like to stop in and see. But it is a trip. So sometimes I don't want to go out to Carolina, <laughs> Carolina made. So I try not to go out there for just one or two things. Um, but I do love Carolina made. Dar Smith says, oh, Lord, they all call first to make sure that they know we are with them because of Eve at the baby's booty. <laughs> they ain't going to care. <laughs> um, that's funny. Um, Darlene, it, it would be nice, but that place is... I mean, they so many orders. My little teeny account is nothing in comparison to some of the... I got to pick up my stuff and they bring me my little box and this other company is pulling up with pallets to get tons and tons of stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, that is crazy. Y'all doing that much business. But the prices are good. And so if you did, especially if you didn't have to pay for shipping, it's well, well worth it. Definitely well worth it. Um, But... I don't know that everybody there even knows me. I know the people up front know me when I come in. They're like, oh, the baby's booty, right? Um, but for the most part, I don't know that it would make a difference. You can try, but I doubt it. <laughs> Will, you just set up your account. I'm trying to tell you, Carolina Maid is the place to go. Um, Darlene says, no worries with Carolina Maid. Blessings and rejoice. Rejoice to you, my love. Google Plus for the baby's booty. Yes, ma'am. Gotta go. Yeah, and I'm about to head out as well because it's after 10 um, good school. I went there also. Beachwood was your home. Oh man, shut up. Okay. All right. Don't 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 play. We might know each other more than what you think. <laughs> Darlene says they are never so big. Faith is a wonderful emotion. That's true. That is true. Cause the mustard seed. We know about the mustard seed. Uh faith that small, it can move mountains so yes thank you to those who ordered tonight i really appreciate it will does too i'm looking forward actually more so to doing the stitch along that's going to be a lot of fun we're going to do it live okay so um i'll have a video letting you guys know as soon as i get the box we'll open it together um, and unveil the box and then what we'll do is do a live of stitching out the project now i don't know if that's going to be the same video or not but we'll definitely get that worked out and i will be excited about letting you guys see everything and the boxes will be mailing out on september the 15th will says so thank you so very much for joining me this late evening devin cottrell there is a subscription embroidery subscription box we're going to repeat that for those who may have come in. It's carolinathreadbox.com. carolinathreadbox.com. And if you use the code, the baby's booty with it, it's B-A-B-Y-S-B-O-O-T-Y, the baby's booty.com. Well, not .com. The baby's booty is the discount code. Um, at carolinathreadbox.com, your first box will get 10% off if it's a monthly subscription. Okay. Um, it is a subscription service. It will come with four spools of sulky thread every month and a project to sew in all the materials that you need to stitch out the project. So we're super, it's not my box, it's for Mr. Will. Um, and it's an excellent idea. He contacted me about doing the videos for it. So that's why I'm promoting it. Um, and really excited about doing a stitch along with everyone. So um, there are different levels to the box um, for different. The price ranges are on carolinathreadbox.com. Um, I think the base price, what is it, Will? The the, the box with the, because there's different sizes of spools. You got, now this is sulky thread. Now this isn't that cheap, or well, we're not going to call it, but it's not cheap thread. It's sulky thread, and it's being offered in the box at uh, the uh discount pricing um and as he's mentioned the price range is $24.95 for the smaller spools $29.95 for the next size up $39.95 and $89.95 is the big huge jumbo spools that go on the industrial machine so and the thread is beautiful i've already seen the thread for this uh box going out on september the 15th it is 
beautiful and it's for the season so it's going to be a seasonal project uh, so we're looking forward to that you get four spools per box every box per month okay so i'm looking forward to it i hope you guys are looking forward to it too because i, I think doing a project together is going to be a lot of fun and we're going to do the project live so carolinathreadbox.com well you guys it's been an hour and 20 minutes and i've enjoyed it i'm probably going to be up way late because i slept as long as i did and shouldn't have but i did um but that's okay i got some things i need to take care of and i'm looking forward to finishing out one video on splitting a design in so it pro okay so we have a video where a customer has uh and it has a pattern with it um she ordered a hair bow and it's three pieces to the hair bow and she wanted the embroidery design split into the three pieces separately so that she could uh, duplicate the pieces on one hoop. And instead of stitching out one bow at a time, she wanted to stitch the first part of the bow four times, the second part of the bow four times. So there's a video showing how you can duplicate that in the hoop and stitch out more than one in the same hoop. So I hope you guys look forward to that. We're close to finishing the editing on it and we'll be posting that. And then we have some other great videos in the works, uh, including learning about other embroidery machines. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys with that. I appreciate you all for tuning in. Please give it a thumbs up if you appreciated the information in here. We talked a lot about tension that's needed. Um, so thank you for joining me late on that. And also, please subscribe to our channel because we do albeit late sometimes, post <laughs> live videos every week answering embroidery questions. And we also have more tutorials in store coming for you guys. And I'm looking forward to it. So I hope you all have an excellent night. I look forward to seeing you again in our next video. And until the next time, I hope you have happy embroidering. I definitely appreciate the super chats, you guys. Thank you so much for the super chats. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Have a good night, y'all. Bye.